Let's make some Chiopino. It's a recipe from Julie here on YouTube. And I'd love for you to go check her out. I'm going to use some scallops. I actually have, a, I bought these yesterday. And I have a few more that I'm going to defrost and use. And some shrimp. And some cod fish, cod. And I'm going to use a bay leaf and some thyme and parsley, celery, olive oil. Now she uses white wine. Now I tend to uh, use vermouth instead because I'm not much of a wine drinker and this is a very good substitution for white wine. And chicken broth I'm using and some red, red pepper, crushed red pepper, chili flakes, some crushed tomatoes, some anchovies onion and garlic and I believe that's everything and let's get started let's add olive oil to the pot about three or four tablespoons oh well, that's enough three or four tablespoons I'm on medium high heat I'm going to add the teaspoon of red chili flakes this will going to work on flavoring the oil here. I'm going to add three anchovies. So that's what I had. Then we're going to add a bay leaf, six cloves of garlic, Smell the garlic, so I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, celery. Two ribs of celery, about a half a cup, and the onion, probably a little bit over a cup. I'm going to cook this up till it's soft. I turn this down to medium heat, uh, and I'm going to add four sprigs of thyme, one cup of the vermouth, or you can use white wine, like a Chardonnay, and I'm going to let this wine reduce down to half. The, the wine, or the vermouth, has reduced down. I'm going to add my tomatoes, my crushed tomatoes. 28 ounce can and don't worry I'll get everything out of that can. Add the uh, chicken broth, two cups. And once this comes up back up to a simmer, I'm on medium heat. I'm going to let it simmer and gently bubble for five minutes. It's simmered away for about five minutes. And if you see the bay leaf or any of the uh, thyme in here, go ahead and take them out. But don't obsess over it. You know, just the thyme and the bay leaf have given their flavors. And you want to go ahead and taste it now for salt. Make sure it has a good taste. It definitely, definitely needs some salt. And stir that salt in and taste it again. Make sure it tastes right. And keep doing this until you like it with the uh, salt. A bit more thyme. And add pepper. Add my fish. Go add the fish. The fish is actually still a little bit frozen, and uh, so I'm going to put the lid on here. 
and let this go about five minutes with the fish in there it's been five minutes for the fish let's give it a stir I'm add the scallops add the shrimp make sure it's seasoned correctly now you know before you add this I'm going to cover it back up cover it and let it go another 10 minutes you want to check it make sure it's bubbling and let it bubble for 10 minutes Well, it's been 10 minutes. This has been bubbling away. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. Add the parsley. That's one bunch of parsley chopped up. Add this in there, and this is ready to serve. I left a couple of shrimp that were unpeeled but the rest of it's peeled just for presentation so that you know the shrimps in there let's give it a taste mm -hmm. this is really nice mm. really good gotta try it check out Julie's channel and thank you so much for watching